Hi, uh, this is Nilanjan Ghosh from Informatica Global Customer Support and today we are going to see of how to join nodes into a single domain. For example, we have two nodes and each node belongs to different domains and now suppose we want to migrate one node and join it to a single domain with where the other node is present. So today's agenda for the video would be to create a new installation, add a node in the existing domain, define gateway node in the installation which will be joined to the existing domain. So um, I have a domain uh, which is domain psglx61.informatica.com and I have a single node presently, node 01, which is available. And each node will have an installation associated with it. So presently I have this installation for uh, node 01951, which is node 01 installation. So what I would do is I have another installation, which is 951 underscore copy. So I just created this installation by uh, having this hyphen r and then copying the whole contents of this directory to this this is just a replica of what is present under 951 so and once I create this I will add a node to this domain and join this particular installation as a node to the existing domain over here at the same time what I did I created two dot profiles for these two installation so if you can see that I have a dot profile which is associated with this installation and a dot profile copy which is associated with this installation I can show you the contents of the dot profile so I have everything pointing to this particular installation whereas this dot profile is pointing to 951 underscore copy so what I would do right now is add a node to this domain I will explicitly add one node so I will name this node as node underscore zero two and I will click OK so presently uh, this node is disabled and it says that use the installation program to associate the node with the host name and the port number so we have we need to have an installation associated with a node so now what we are going to do is we already have two installations one is 951 which is already running which is node 1 and a 951 copy so we are going to associate 951 copy with node 2 so how are we going to do that so we are going to 951 copy then isp slash bin so we're going to see the contents of the directory so over here we have in first setup dot sh so what are we going to do is we are going to point that particular installation 951 copy to this particular domain so we are going to run define gateway node so it would give us the options of what we need so it it says that I need all these options that is hyphen D A D U D P so we are going to give all these options which is hyphen D A is D S O R A 11 G 2 1521 
how are we getting this from here so tsor 11 g2 colon 1521 and then hyphen du what is the username it is this because it is this installation this installation will be pointing to this domain so we need to point it to this database domain means domain repository database so hyphen du is this then the hyphen dp the password then hyphen dt which is oracle in this case you might have a different database over here the hyphen d database service name or cl hyphen dn which domain is it going to point so domain will be this and then uh, we would have the node name so the node name will be node underscore zero two this is the no new node which we have created and we are we are trying to join it to this domain and which host it belongs to and which port number the node host and port the node address so it will be iron word dot Zero five six one, and then we are going to have the log service directory which is going to be this and the resource file which will be your node options.xml so now what we are going to do is run this command before we run this we have to set the dot profile we have to source the dot profile for 951 underscore copy so we'll just copy this command into a notepad and then we'll go back and see so we are going to source dot profile underscore copy just to set the environment okay and now we are going to go and get inside so we have two installations as you see we'll go inside nine five one underscore copy and then isp slash bin and then run the define gateway node so so let's run the define gateway node for this case I have both the installations on the same host this might not be the case in yours it might be on a different host it can be on a Windows machine you can have a Windows node and you can have uh, it joined to a Linux domain where you have a Linux node so you can have a heterogeneous environment as well so the command ran successfully now what we are going to do is go ahead and start Informatica services so presently I can see that this node is disabled and we have to use installation to associate it. So no, info service dot sh startup Okay, so it started let's drag the processes Nine dot five dot one underscore copy yes it started so you can see it started the node process has started so we'll just wait for it to get associated this is still disabled still disabled we'll just wait for it to start up completely it'll take a bit of time 
So you might have a question that um, can we have uh, more than one installation in the same Informatica box? Yes, you can have a same installation uh, on the same Informatica box. However, um, that box has to be in a Linux or a Unix environment. You cannot have two installations on the same Windows box because of uh, registry issues. So it is possible to have uh, more than one installation on the same Informatica box if it is a Linux or a Unix environment. And we'll see if this node has come up. This is still disabled. This is now available. So node 2, which is, I'll show you the installation. So 9.5 and copy is now associated uh, with uh, node 0 2 and it is up and running. So this is how we joined a node to another domain. Thank you for watching this video and and we would love to hear from you. Thank you.